Hello, hello, my name is Ash and welcome to this Create 0.3 demonstration. Um, so, today I've been working on a uh, cute little contraption, which is a, a junction switching station. So, I'll, I'll show you guys. Um, not going to do a super long stream today since uh, it's pretty late, um, but I only got home like about an hour or two ago when I started building this and I didn't have time for a, a like a full length stream. But anyway, so um, I've got this uh, kind of junction switching station here. So um, like you can run like two parallel train tracks or something like that and um, if you click this, the minecart will go across, right? Uh, but you can also, let's say if we want to select this one, um, now when you, the, 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 the switching station kicks in, it switches the, the rail junction and you can um, go to the next one. Uh, now let's say we want to go straight across, we've got this button and that'll take us to this section and we can go straight across um, and this button will take us to this button will take us to um, or it should no 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 wrong one it's this button that takes us to uh, this diagonal right and then you can press that and it goes across here um, so how this works is that I've got um, just a four stabilizing bearings on a normal bearing, right? And uh, this has got a clutch to switch it off. So um, how this works is um, on each separate platform, we've essentially got a key, right? So the key is the redstone link and depending on where it is on the platform allows you to select only certain ones, right? So um, so whenever um, this key is selected, this platform will be on top. Whenever this key is selected, right, whenever that's passing by there, uh, this one will be on top. And how we decide how we select those, for instance, so we want to go straight across, it's this button, um, and it'll stop here. So just um, it'll send a redstone signal to this uh, button orange frequency. Um, now the button orange frequency, first thing it will do, it will power off this latch, which undoes the clutch, right? Because this goes to the clutch, so it will start spinning. And then um, it will also send a signal through here, right? That will turn on this, um, this latch here. So it turns this latch on, and that activates this piston, which lets this down. So... Uh, once this piston is let down, um, these like they these all activate um, by the redstone uh, contacts, right? Once this piston is let down, the redstone contacts signal can travel through here and lock the clutch. So um, basically, say we want to go, so we want to go the straight along here. We press this button, which goes to that light blue frequency, light blue frequency lets it spin, right? Then it sends its signal through here, oh, and uh, up here, um, or down there, right? It sends it to two places, right? But first, it's, it sends a signal here, um, it powers this line, which sends a pulse up here, which um, turns off all of the latches, right? Um, this line over here, whenever anything is pressed, it turns off all of the latches, and then after a short delay, the um, the the toggle is switched on from the back here, and that's why we've got these adjustable repeaters here. So, um, so you can select. So we want to go straight across. We can select this, and it'll spin twice until it gets to this section. That will activate that, and it stops. Um, this is also um, a way to do. Um, what do you call it? Um, well, I mean, first of all, I just should explain. This is pretty much just a selector panel. Um, 
I'm, pr I'm almost certain there are easier ways to do selector panels. Um, and it's just the output of the selector panel is right here, right? There are definitely easier ways to do selector panels. I just wanted to figure one out kind of myself a little bit. Um, uh, I, I struggled with it for a while, but um, after looking up some other designs, I figured out how to do one with create. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's the basics of how it works, right? Um, and you can switch these buttons around just by changing which frequencies, you know, goes where, obviously. Um, and you could have this activated by, like, a detector rail um, on your, like, train line. Say you've got a train coming in from this direction, right? Um, and you, like, you might want it to go this direction, so... Um, you'll it'll detect the train and like maybe it'll um, you'll have like another selector to detect what type of train it is like um, depending on how you've built the train and so you want one type of train to go this direction and one type of train to go this direction uh, you could have like a, a bit of a sorting system for your trains um, and and yeah and, and this is basically how it works right it also sends the pulse yeah, I, I think I've explained it thoroughly enough. Um, so, yeah, that, that's that's pretty much how this works. Um, I do kind of want to go over some of the stuff that is uh, changed in the most recent update. Um, so, the most recent update for Create, we got a patch. Um, so, I'll, so, I'll also show some of this, right? Um, this is just a carriage I had here that's not doesn't really matter. Anything that works with minecarts will probably work with carriages. But, so, um, you could do this before, right? You could uh, do a turntable and then have something go across, right? But be before, whenever you say we have a cart, like, just on this track somewhere, whenever we'd activate this track in the previous versions, the cart actually falls through, and now it doesn't anymore. So we can actually do proper turntables now. Um, with uh, with create, which is really nice. I'm definitely going to be using some of those in my survival series, um, and and that'll you know we were talking about a plan in the survival. Are you using a sequence gear shift for this? Yes. Um, for this, no. Right. This uses the sequence gear shift to only turn 90 degrees every time I activate it. Right. It turns 90 degrees. Uh, this is just a super simple mechanism. Um, it's this one. This one does not use a sequence gear shift. All it uses is a clutch and logic. And the reason I didn't use a sequence gear shift is because um, I wanted this selection, right? I wanted to be able to select what floor it goes to, and that and that uses the the way I thought of it uses this key card system. Um, so using a sequence gear shift um, doesn't do anything to help that design at all. Um, but yeah, does anyone have any questions that I could answer? No? No questions? Well, um... Oh, you're live on YouTube and Twitch? Yes, yes I am. Um, it uh, just makes it easier to reach a wider audience. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna keep this stream short. I don't really have much else to do it, right? It, it just changes the path, right? Yeah, that's all it does, right? So, changes the path. So this one will let this one go this direction. Right, it stops. And then you can go there, and then if we want this one to cross over, we can go that. So yeah, um, it's it's pretty cool. So this is you know, um, since uh, you can't do, this, so this is allows you to do four different junction right, uh, four different um, path types, uh, in one section. Um, so like. In, in normal Minecraft, right, you can um, you can do this, right? And if you have a button, uh, a lever here, 
it allows you to switch the track. Um, but, you know, that's very small scale, so. Uh, <laughs> Battle Emmy, thank you for the, um, for, for the follow. Uh, will I make this in my survival? Probably something similar, yeah. Um, yeah, Sash, also thank you for the follow. Um, I'll probably make something similar in my survival. Um, I don't know where yet, but I just had the kind of idea for this system, so. Um, so yeah, it, it's uses mostly in, in train routing, um, for like, so for your train contraptions, right? Um, so you can, you can have your, your, like a cargo freighter or something. Um, if I were to get minecarts. Thank you for the follow Tita crafting crafter, <laughs> whatever. Uh, that doesn't work. But anyway, you, you could have, um, like cargo, um, trains, you know, that'll transport and you want it to go to different areas, right? That's kind of why I designed this, right? You, you want to be able to route your trains along different kinds of tracks. So, so that, that's the usefulness in that. Um, so, so like, I guess I want to say, um, thank you for all of the support on YouTube. We, you know, I, I didn't stream for three days and then suddenly, um, uh, then suddenly I'm at 600, uh, <laughs> 600 subscribers on YouTube. So thanks for that. Uh, is this a giant windmill? Yeah. Yeah. I've got two giant windmill designs. Um, but I haven't, I, I wanted to use them in my, in my survival base, but, um, so I tested these out, right? So you can see it spins ridiculously fast. Um, unfortunately, I wish it span slower because, um, the speed that it spins, it's just, it's not, you know, it doesn't feel right. So, um, yeah. So I had a windmill design here and I had another one here that was about the same speed, but I was also experimenting. If I want a windmill just for looks, I can just slow it down. But even at one RPM, um, I mean, the speed is fine, but it dropped a lot of my frames. So anyway, yeah, I was just experimenting with that. This, this is just my test world. Like I also have, um, I think this was like a walking design. Uh, I don't have the, the logic for it, but what? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I won't show it too much. Um, that's for another video where, I, so anyway, um, thank you for all the support. Uh, my, my, hopefully my chat doesn't flicker anymore since I've got my, uh, second monitor finally hooked up cause I got the cable for it. But anyway, uh, thank you very much for dropping by. I hope you, <laughs> if you want the windmill to have less speed, put some blocks that look like sails and, and. And well, yeah, that's what I did here. That's what I did here. See, this is, these are walls. Uh, and I only put, I put a lot less wall, but it was still too much. Um, and also it makes it like a lot less effective. But anyway, regardless, um, thank you all for dropping by the stream and, and seeing this stuff. This will be going up on YouTube. So I, I don't want to keep like, keep it going too long for a demonstration. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a, a nice day and I'll, I should be streaming, uh, some survival tomorrow. You can join my discord and get announcements and stuff. Um, or like subscribe to my YouTube or follow my Twitch. Um, and, uh, I hope you all have a very wonderful day.
Oh, right. I'll upload the schematic in the description of the YouTube video later, just by the way. Sorry.